the breast augmentation your wife got, but that's... and I heard you use Viagra. Sex change surgeries for trans women are modern day lobotomies. Ooh, that's a hot take, but like, uh, how? They mutilate a healthy organ. I mean, every surgery implies a mutilation because it cuts you open, but in terms of outcome, it does what it's supposed to be doing. It can never mimic the real deal. They're already a real deal. It's not a transplant of a fake organ. A lot of them can't even be distinguished from cis ones. So if it looks good, feels good, it does what it's supposed to be doing and it makes you happy, how exactly is that a mutilation? Normal women don't go through that. Well, actually some do. The vaginoplasty for trans women came from the vaginoplasty for cis women that were born without a vagina or with different issues that required sculpting a vaginal canal. They need psychiatric health, not surgeries. And they get it. Before having all of these surgeries, there are psychiatrists who evaluate them and they recommend gender affirming care. There's no such thing as gender affirming care. So how do you call the penis enlargement surgery that you got one year ago? Wait. And the breast augmentation your wife got? But that's... And I heard you use Viagra. Sex change surgery. I don't understand why there's an assumption that who told you one that I support breast implants? Really don't. I mean, like the only time I really do support breast implants is because, like, you get, um, for example, situations where um, you have risks for breast cancer. You know, like how, uh, what's her name? Angelina Jolie got rid of her boobs because, you know, she she had, you know, the genes for breast cancer. So she removed her boobs and tried to reconstruct some other boobs for implants. To me, I, I don't hold anything against people like that. But I, um, um, I've been, when I was young, a major thing I did since I was 17 was, uh, <laughs> feel a little bit better than the people who get implants and uh small you know things of that nature uh because you when you think like what you have is you know um, something that you like about yourself and someone else gets you know implants because they don't like their chest that means that you have a chest that's better than theirs by their own standards. I mean, they had to use thousands of dollars to buy their boobs. And you, I mean, for me, I, I mean, I get paid for my boobs, but <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, I probably actually been paid over my life much more money than people buy their boobs for. Most likely. Yeah, definitely. Um, cause men love my boobs so much, you know, and I, I love my boobs and I always have since I was very young. I was always taught that, uh, you know, that's the one thing. Cause if you understand how in living in this day and age where, you know, curvy was kind of like seen as the thing to be. And when I say curvy, I don't mean fat women. I'm talking about, like, for skinny girls growing up, um, oh, the one thing that would save us if is we had a big butt or wide hips or big boobs, you know. And for me, you know, uh, people would always try and complain about, oh, yeah, I have butt and all this stuff, but my boobs, there's no denying, because, I mean, like, since I was 14, I was fitting 34 Cs, at least. Now, when I was 15, I was wearing a 34C at 84 pounds. And then when I was 18, I was still 84 pounds and a 34C. And then finally, I started gaining weight around 18 to 19, and I was 100 pounds. And then I started being a 34D. Well, it was a 32, 34D, somewhere around there. Um, and then I went to like 105 and 110. Now I hover around 32 double D to 32 triple D. And now I, I, I might be slightly bigger than that. But the point is I have very big boobs. you know, And I've always had big boobs. And the thing is nowadays I don't. Like before, my, my cleavage would be minimal, like good. Like, it would be a good size, but I could make it, like, pop real good. Nowadays, cleavage just pops real good. You know, it's just all, always there. <laughs> but um, the point is, 
um, my point is, is that like for me, you know, I, who told you that I supported breast implants? I, I don't personally. I do understand it as someone who has propensity for breast cancer. I understand it. Uh, I always say, if you got breast cancer, cut those things off right away. Like, seriously, I, I would elect to just get rid of them automatically. We do not need breasts to survive, you know. Men survive perfectly fine without breasts. So, I mean, like, if it's cancer or breasts, hey, you got to get rid of those breasts. That's how I see it. And no breasts, you know what it is, you know. Um... But uh, in those cases, you know, a lot of women can't live without, you know, their breasts completely. So they wear, they get their uh, implants, you know. And plus, it's kind of like where well, they had it before, you know, like Angelina Jolie had big breasts before. Um, so, you know, to get implants would actually be appropriate. So then she can have big breasts again, you know. For me personally, I don't even know what life is like without breasts. Um, I, and I still understand, you know, you get rid of the breasts when you get cancer because, um, like, I was like six years old when I grew my breasts. So, you know, that's why, that's why my breasts came in all, at like 14 in a C cup because I'd been growing them for like, I think, seven years by that point, um, basically. Um, and so if you think of it, seven years for most people, they've been growing their breasts for seven years. Uh, you know, it's, you're going to have a situation where, you know, your breasts are probably going to be bigger or full grown by that point. You know, my breasts were actually full grown when I was nine on 10. So it's really crazy. Some people didn't even have breasts at that time, but anyway, that was just my point there. Um, what you were saying about, um, intersex people is really interesting because it's like, why did you just conveniently try to say that women get constructive surgery to, um, get their vaginas, uh, elongated? This is usually occurring with people who have intersex conditions. They're labeled as intersex. Um, I don't know why you thought you were just going to say they're women, um, if someone is male and female, they're actually intersex. Oh, did you want to create the erasure of intersex people for the convenience of transgender people? Is that what you were doing there? Because that's what it looked like to me. I mean, you literally tried to say that women go through these surgeries, cis women. Um, cis women are people who don't have intersex conditions. I mean, that's what it is. Like, why are you lying? So that's just what I see there. Now, the other thing, what you were saying, is that specifically, I don't feel that... It's not that, it's, that the surgery can ha work or it can't work. Specifically. Because it's kind of like, to me... If the surgery worked or it, you think that it's really good for you or whatever, that's your body, that's your choice. That's how I feel. But personally to me, I just think that it doesn't really make much sense to keep running, okay? That's just how I see it. Now, I have a different perspective because, you know, born female. And, you know, to me, I mean, like I always comment on like the trans men and things of that nature because you know they're they're people who are born female to me it's more appropriate to react to people who are born female who identify as men than to really react to trans women I don't know how you guys function or how it works for you guys you know or the perception of thinking that uh, I'll get a vagina or whatever and then I'll be female to me, it's just like, when I really think of it, it's like, well, you are you, right? You still have the body you have with all the accessories. 
so you're basically covering yourself up with all these accessories, but beneath it all, you are still who you are. Your bone structure is still who you are. Your hands are still the way they are. Your height is still the way it is. The bone density is still the same. Your cranial structure and your face is still the same. You know, to me, it's like if I can tell you apart from a biological female, doesn't that mean that it's uh, not really? It's not that I'm trying to say it's not working. It's just that I'm saying that what is seen is seen. We still see that you are the male sex. You know, though you are a woman and I will call you a woman and I'll call you a she and I don't really care about your pronouns. It's just on a, to me, reproductive level, on a reality level. We know you cannot become pregnant. We know you can impregnate. And uh, to me... And it doesn't matter if you get uh, vaginal surgery, obviously. You still have sperm, and people can freeze their sperm. That's the only way you will be fertile. That's the only way you will have children is by impregnating somebody. Um, So to me, it's just like at the end of the day, I feel like personally, as a person who, you know, I do not believe in gender, I feel like, Specifically, it's like the surgeries and the hormones are running. It's a running game. It's a constant running from what is your body, basically. Now, you have every right to run from your natural body. You have every right to hate your body, just like those people who don't like their chest and buy new breasts, okay? You have every right to do that, but... For someone who is happy with their body or wants to be at least grateful for their body and say that they are good enough as is, you are not saying you are good enough as is. So one could feel better about that. Who does think that they are actually good enough as is? You get what I'm saying? That doesn't mean like I'm saying that you don't have a right to do it, but everyone has a right to judge it. Everybody has a right to come up with their own conclusions about it. That is a matter of freedom of thought, freedom of speech, freedom of expression. You know, people are going to have different opinions on how you present yourself and you shouldn't be affected or bothered by it. You know, if you're happy with it, if you're content with what you do to yourself then it's not like it matters what others think about it. It's your body. It's your choice at the end of the day. But, like, you can't help that people may think negatively of you consistently changing your body because you do not, or they basically perceive you to not think your body is good enough. So that's all I have to say in this video. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Comment down below and have a great day, guys. Bye.